Hello everybody, my name is Brinley and I work at the Pelham Public Library and this is the Worry Doll Kit video. Worry dolls are small handmade dolls that originate from Guatemala. According to legend, Guatemalan children tell their worries to the worry dolls, placing them under their pillow when they go to bed at night. By morning, the dolls have gifted them with the wisdom and knowledge to eliminate their worries. So let's get started. Here's what you'll find in your kit. Half of a popsicle stick, which we will use for the body. Two small toothpick pieces, which we'll use for arms. We'll use these felt pieces for hair and bangs, if you would like. This long, thin piece is for the top, and this smaller, wider piece is for the skirt or bottom. And this piece of cord is for a belt. You will also need to supply your own scissors, a black fine tip marker, paint and a paintbrush if you wish, and a hot glue gun or white glue. Just a reminder that if you're using white glue, make sure it dries fully before you start to assemble the clothes onto your worry doll. First, we're going to take half the popsicle stick and the two arms. I'm going to paint half of the popsicle stick with a skin tone paint that I just had lying around my house. If you don't have paint, you can also use a marker or you can just leave it the, right, the same color as the popsicle stick. Now I'm going to set this aside to let it dry, and once the paint has dried, we're going to continue to assemble. I'm going to put a small dab of glue about a quarter of the way down from the top of the popsicle stick. And I'm going to arrange the arms so that they're pointed down towards me. I like to twist my arms a little bit so that they have glue all around them, just so that they don't move when I'm putting the clothes on. From here, we're going to take out the material for the clothes. So the thinner piece will be used for the top. The wider piece will be used for the bottom or the skirt. And the little piece of cord, I'm, like I said earlier, will be used for the belt. So we are going to flip the popsicle stick over. I'm just going to check to make sure that my arms are on there firmly because I don't want them moving around when I'm putting the material over them. So I'm going to flip it over and I am going to apply hot glue to the back of the popsicle stick, just around where the arms are. Then I'm going to press the thin piece of material to the back just to make sure that it's firmly in place. I'm going to wrap over the one arm, then go behind the popsicle stick, under the other arm, and over the other arm. I'll show you that again. It takes a little bit to get this right. You're going to go over the first arm around the back of the popsicle stick under the first arm and over the second arm and then you're going to flip it over and hot glue the back so that it doesn't move again i like to press it down just to make sure that it's firmly in place and then i'm going to clip the excess material. Be careful, those arms are very easy to cut. <laughs> Just make sure you're watching them when you're cutting the excess. Now we are going to apply the skirt. I'm going to cover the back of the remainder of the popsicle stick with hot glue. Press the skirt in about the place where I would like it, so just below the arms. Weave the skirt around under the arms. 
flip it over and I'm going to secure the skirt with some hot glue. Just like with the top, I'm going to press it down and then I'm going to clip off the excess material with the scissors. Now I'm going to just tie the little piece of cord around the middle into a little knot just to make a belt. You can always change any of the materials if you have them at home to colors that you like or patterns that you like. You can leave the cord off, you can cut the skirt shorter, you can glue it so that the bottom looks like pants instead of a skirt. It's completely up to you and you can customize it. Now I'm gonna draw on a little face. Again, whatever face you would like, if you just wanna draw eyes, you can do that. I myself like to make eyes and nose and a little mouth. I like to make my mouth's hearts, but again, that's just my preference. You do whatever you would like to make the worry doll your own. Next up is the hair, which is a little bit trickier. I'm going to take the piece that I have made into fringe and we're going to glue that on first by applying a little bit of hot glue just around the edge of the popsicle stick. I actually followed the edge all the way from the top of the shirt all the way around. And then I press the hair directly onto that and I press very firmly just so that it sticks. Then if you move the hair back a little bit and you apply some more glue right to the back of the popsicle stick that you can still see, you can kind of press it in and down and the hair will lay flat. Again, if you would like, you can make short hair, you can use pieces of yarn if you have that, if you would like to make that type of hair. You can leave the hair off and put a hat on, it's up to you. Next, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of glue along the forehead, and then I'm gonna press this little piece of black felt along that bit of glue, just to make some bangs. Again, it's a personal preference, you don't have to do this step. And then I just follow along with the scissors, clip that piece off so that it just looks like bangs. And there you have it, the worry doll. Please customize your own and once you have finished, please take pictures and either email them to me or tag them.